Hello viewers, welcome to Centricity Speaks. My name is Aditya and you're watching the first episode of Perspectives 101. In this episode today, we will cover uh, one of the most widely discussed topics in recent times, which is a potential breach of the US government's debt ceiling. As per some new analysis and statistics sent by the US Congressional Budget Office as well as the US Department of Treasury, the US government may fast be approaching what is known as the X date, a date beyond which the US government may no longer be able to pay its bills. Uh, history suggests that approaching a date even close to such an X date will be very disruptive to not only the US economy but even the world economy. An actual breach, needless to say, would be absolutely catastrophic in terms of all the gains that the Biden administration has made ever since it came through office in terms of a very robust economy, a very robust job market, all-time unemployment, all-time low unemployment rates, as well as new jobs created in terms of 1.26 million new jobs created. So Sachin, uh, what do you think is the likely probability of such a potentially devastating event happening? Uh, is it possible that such a uh, event could happen? And if yes, what are the you know uh, potential implications on not only the US economy, but uh, the world as such? Yes, Aditya, actually, right now it is one of the biggest, uh, you know, risk which is uh, global markets are facing, the US debt ceiling. So, you know, before going into the implication and what are the solutions around it, so let's understand what is actually debt ceiling. Okay. So we can, you know, we can explain it for the viewers in a simplified way uh, by understanding some numbers, some monthly numbers of US, uh, you know, uh, debt market. So, uh, you know, when we check the data, we found, found out the recent data they shared of FAP 2023. So in FAP 2023, their uh, total revenue was almost $200 billion. In the earnings of the US uh, yes. fund. When I say revenue, these are taxes which they you right. know, earn. And obviously, they have to spend uh, on, uh, you know, the spending of US uh, government was almost $400 billion. Okay. So every month, uh, there is a deficit of around 200 billion dollars their earning is their revenue are 200 billion dollars they are spending 400 billion dollars okay. so this is the monthly data so that is a deficit for one month okay and now how they cover that deficit obviously they have to issue bonds okay they have to borrow money the u.s government has to borrow money the public yeah from the public from the global investors even china and japan are the biggest investors in u.s uh, you know fed bonds okay so uh, you know that that covers their deficit and when we accumulate this, the total debt, uh, you know, holding of US currently is 31 trillion dollar. Okay. Right now, and it was a ceiling that was decided by the Congress. Every time, uh, you know, they decide that what is the maximum ceiling for the debt, which US can take, right? Because it also, uh, you know, factors in their credit rating. They can't go beyond one ceiling. Now, US is almost 25, 26 trillion dollar economy. So their debt ceiling was decided at 31 trillion dollar. And we are at a stage where even the 31 trillion dollar ceiling could be potentially breached. Yes, so I mean, when we talk about 31, it looks like a very big number. Okay. But for US, they, they are about to breach that number and their deadline is very, very near. So the big question here is why there is so much of issue? Because the Republicans are, you know, avoiding this. They don't want to increase their debt ceiling. So the biggest question here is ki whether it is a political crisis or it's a financial crisis. I also want your view on that because you track, you know, political things and the debt markets very closely. So uh, it, it definitely seems as if the, uh, the Republicans uh, are definitely trying to push it to the last minute and yeah. cause some sort of a panic situation mm -hmm. because it is a situation which can be potentially uh, avoided uh, and not brought to the last moment before it could be solved. Yes. Also, history does not suggest uh, and history has uh, no precedence mm -hmm. of uh, there having been a breach of this potential X date okay. without uh, the government actually deciding on whether to suspend uh, that ceiling or to raise that ceiling or to raise money from domestic uh, borrowers, bor domestic lenders or external lenders. So it definitely seems more political. Uh, as uh, you know, the long-standing CEO of uh, JP Morgan had recently even uh, quoted, mm -hmm. uh, even stated that you know uh, uh, the the U.S. dispensation, the political dispensation, has this habit of pushing this uh, to the last minute and not okay. resolving it uh, 
early okay. uh, so that you know there could be certain terms and conditions and negotiations that can be made mm-hmm. which can only happen in a panic situation yes so this is a potentially avoidable situation mm-hmm. uh, but uh, at the end of the day it is still something which is you know uh, uh, which is pending and there are only i think the uh, the date uh, for the decision of this uh, uh raising of this debt ceiling etc has to be made on 1st june if, yes, if i'm almost 1st june is the last date it's a deadline yeah. but yes the other, as you rightly said the other party is playing their cards yeah. political cards so you know obviously the republicans uh, you know the elections are due or trump is set for a reelection and mm. the americans uh, and the republican party essentially wants to kind of uh, may probably have a political motivation behind all of this so which brings me to the next thing mm-hmm. if at all such a event happens uh, yes. uh you know there could be two scenarios one that, that it could be a uh you know uh, it could be a short term uh, event um, mm-hmm. you know something that drags on for say a month or two and yes, then yes. you know a decision could be made mm-hmm. or it could be a protracted event that yes. is potentially if the us government says that we're not going to raise it at all we're not mm-hmm. going to suspend it mm-hmm. which in in essence uh, could be termed as a us debt default yes. which, which is like uh, you know absolutely unthinkable yes so it did not even happen in 2008 So if a short term event like this happens mm-hmm. or if the you know the date is breached without having been made a decision yes then what could be the potential uh, implications of this on US and uh, the world so yes aditya uh, you know if US is not able to pay their debt the intra- interest rate will go up it will just spike up okay. and even we have seen the one month interest rate is uh, you know above as compared to any other 5 year or 10 year yield right now it has crossed 5% okay so it is showing that uh, you know the significance of the near deadline also okay and uh, if the interest rate goes up the equity market will have a ripple effect globally not only in us the markets will go down even the globally the markets will uh, you know because with us everything is coupled also sachin uh, you know there could also be one another potential uh, disruptive uh implication which is basically slow down in the private credit market so mm-hmm. you know the us consumers and small businesses thrive on private credit and the disruption in the flow of private credit would le- you know obviously lead to a, a fall in demand yes the world manufactures and provides services for the us consumer to consume mm-hmm. and uh, obviously there will be a significant fall in the demand of uh, uh, you know the the, manuf- the goods manufactured or service manufactured in these emerging economies yes everything is correlated so obviously it will affect the businesses also the the second potential scenario could be where there is a long term protracted uh, event mm-hmm. of uh, you know the debt ceiling getting breached and uh, uh you know potential so called us debt default budget it, cuts will be there and okay. so in in that case what would be the uh, you know implication that would be obviously very long term so yeah it, it i think the recovery will be very very long term okay i mean slowly it, it reminds of the great depression because when the market fell down it took so many years to recover it okay so there is always a equilibrium in any kind of market there is a crisis it will have effect so the demand will go down but slowly the demand will emerge but it can take lot of years So what can be the solution out of it you can suggest what do you see that uh, you know what can be the right solution of this scenario so the solution essentially uh, you know i'm i'm not exactly an authority to <laughs> to suggest a solution but i think the it is writing on the wall that yes. uh, the us government and dispensation and the parties involved have to get together and solve this proactively mm-hmm. instead of leaving it to the last day and uh, coming to a uh, you know a reasonable negotiation in terms of what could be the raised new raised debt ceiling mm-hmm. or whether the us government can meet its obligations in terms of payment to its creditors etc etc because the date is fast approaching yes, yes. Uh, because you know the one thing that the us government and the current administration cannot afford is to wipe out the gains that it has very painfully made in the last couple of years and uh, yeah so many economists are uh, you know uh, of the opinion that you know these uh, potential crises keep cropping up uh, you know uh, once every 5 uh, 10 years Mm-hmm. but uh, the us government the us economy is resilient mm-hmm. and it doesn't really have a very potential impact and these events could possibly be hyped up uh, mm-hmm. to create a hysteric right. panic so the date is around the corner it is first june so yes. we have to wait and see what is going to happen and how it is resolved so let's let's uh, you know uh, uh, wait and watch yes right so and uh, look forward uh, viewers thank you so much uh, for having us uh, on this episode and uh, thank you for uh, viewing us uh looking forward to uh you know inviting you to the second episode which will come up very shortly thank, thank you thank you